Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here and today I'm bringing you a look at the Blu-rays and DVDs releasing in August 2018 as listed on Blu-ray.com. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this week to kind of streamline the process a little bit, you guys will have to give me some feedback and let me know what you guys like better. I'm not going to look up all these movies on IMDb. It just takes a lot of time. Maybe you guys aren't that interested in all that information. Maybe you just want the titles. I don't know. Let's try it out and I'll... Go by feedback and adjust if necessary. So the first week we have is August 7th and we have Predator. That's the original Predator coming to 4K. You have to get to the store <laughs> and buy yourself a copy. Okay, that was lame. Uh, we also have the Predator 3 movie collection, uh, which is Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. Is that the third movie? Predators? Um, you should be a movie expert. Uh, Predators. I am. Don't doubt me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, someone's watching me. The Death of Superman from DC Animated. Uh, Revenge. Happy Endings. The Complete Series. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The Complete Series. Oh man. Could you imagine watching this? How many discs are in that monster? The Transporter 3 coming to 4K. We are also getting Predator Blu-ray with new artwork. Uh, Pie Wacket. I don't know what this is, but it definitely looks interesting. Life of the Party. I will not get this movie no matter what you think. Wildling. The Death of... Uh, Riverdale Season 2. Um, I will be reviewing this one. I really enjoyed Season 1. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's based on the characters from the Archie comic books, although it's from the CW, so it definitely has teen drama. Uh, it has mystery. Uh, I would say some horror, kind of some thriller aspects. Um, just a lot of everything, really, in this one. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that one out. Low Life. Stagecoach coming to 4K. This new movie, Marrowbone. Uh, Breaking in. I saw this one in theaters, you know, I thought it was enjoyable enough. Nothing great, but uh, a pretty decent movie where this uh, lady goes to her uh, dead father, or father has just passed away, and she's going to the house to prepare it for sale, and uh, these guys break in to try to seal some stuff, and they end up taking her kids hostage, and she has to save them. It was a pretty good movie, though, you know, and it, like I said, nothing spectacular, but definitely worth checking out. Uh, Flora from Mill Creek Entertainment. Dead Shack. I'm kind of interested in this one. Um, Jehenna, where death lives. I don't know. I have the I have the opportunity to watch this one, and I I really never got around to it. Maybe I will try to review it before it releases. I'm not I'm not I'm not making any promises, guys. Uh, Cartel 2045. I did review this one. I didn't think that was a, a terrible movie at all. Uh, had Danny Trejo. Some definitely some interesting CGI in it. Uh, definitely uh, some inconsistencies too in the uh, the lighting and some just going through CGI and whatnot. But uh, I, I, I think I remember it wasn't that bad of a movie though. Definitely, if you guys are interested, you could check out my review by searching for Cartel 2045. So, um, I think for me, the only thing I'm getting really is Riverdale Season 2. Um, I, I don't know, I already saw Breaking In. It's not a movie I feel I need to own right away. So we'll see. I might get it, I might skip it. Uh, so that, oh. Of course, as if Deadpool wasn't ridiculous enough, we have more Deadpool slipcovers coming. Why? Uh, the Martian, Alien, and City Slickers. I mean, honestly, I don't care what you guys do with your money, but if you're going to keep buying these, just start flushing your money down the toilet instead. At least then they'll quit making them. 
<laughs> so then that brings us to August 14th. We have Avengers Infinity War. Definitely excited for this one. I did see it already in theaters and I do have a review up of that one. We are going to get a lot of different releases here of Avengers Infinity War. Uh, the Best Buy Steelbook. It looks like they're only going to have a 4K version. I did already put up my pre-order information video on that if you guys want to check that out. Uh, there's a 4K a Blu-ray and there should be a DVD. Um, Target will have a book, storybook, or I don't know what they're calling it, version. Um, we're also getting Avengers and Avengers Age of Ultron on 4K. And Best Buy is also going to have an exclusive Steelbook. Are these Blu-ray or 4K Steelbooks though? I'm not really sure on that one. Uh, 4K Steelbooks. To me, I just, I don't love the artwork. For some reason, I don't like this one as much as the other one, even though they're kind of very similar. Um, I'm not really feeling like I need to upgrade to 4K or upgrade to these uh, Steelbooks. I already have the first two in Steelbook form. Um, I don't know why. I just like the coloring and the look of this one better than the other one. But I won't be picking those up, most likely. <laughs> uh, we also have Life Force from Shout Factory, The Howling from Shout Factory, and Army of Darkness Steelbooks from Shout Factory. I did pre-order the Army of Darkness one. Of course, I got to get that one. The other two, uh, I've never seen. I'm not sure that I really need them. I would like to get them just because uh, they're they're really nice looking steelbooks, but I'm just not sure that I need them. Uh, Arrow the Complete Sixth Season. I should be getting that one and I will have a review of that one up as well. I'm not super familiar with Arrow, um, seeing as that I've never seen it before. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, Van Wilder coming to 4K. I love Van Wilder. It's probably one of Ryan Reynolds' best movies. I know you guys are going to say Deadpool, but you're wrong. R uh, Van Wilder. Tara Reid was pretty good in this one too. It was a hilarious movie. Really raunchy. Uh, comedy but uh, maybe I just saw it at a time in my life when you know that really raunchy comedy was really funny to me but I've always really enjoyed that one uh, 12 monkeys season 3 and season 4 okay oh the lonely guy I do have this one on DVD I don't remember uh, exactly what it's about I probably don't need to upgrade to blu-ray though uh, the blacklist the complete uh, fifth season Uh, documentary now seasons one and two it's kind of strange that they're releasing those both on one set uh, this is a, a, a documentary comedy thing where they just I don't know I've never seen it but it's supposed to be funny and I, I definitely would like to check that one out uh, how to talk to girls at parties would be a good documentary I'm <laughs> just kidding uh, I don't really know what that one's about but I think the title probably explains it pretty well uh walking tall with the rock that's the one where like the there's like drug dealers in the town or whatever and he's got to save the town it's been a while since i've seen that one uh the pre-orders on this are like super high i would definitely be after it we'll see what happens with the price as you can see right now it's at 30 dollars. so if that comes down to a reasonable price i'll probably pick that one up bad samaritan i love the name a fate of <laughs> affairs of state the yellow birds Shock and Awe. Looks like Woody Harrelson in that one. And uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Could be interesting. I really don't know much about it. So that's it for the 14th. Um, I will be getting the Avengers Steelbook. I already pre-ordered that. I'll be giving away a copy of the Blu-ray. If you guys haven't figured out how to enter that yet, just check out my website, bobsmovie.com. And you can find the entry on there. Uh, I also will be getting Arrow the sixth season and Army of Darkness Steelbook. I did pre-order that one already. All right, so that takes us to August 21st. Deadpool 2 coming out. I know a lot of you guys are super excited about that. I don't know why, guys. I just don't love Deadpool. I, I don't get excited by it. Um, I will probably pick it up, though. The Best Buy exclusive Steelbook is one of the ugliest Steelbooks I've ever seen, and I will not get it. I'm not going to support such a terrible steelbook. I'll probably end up just picking up the Blu-ray version because I don't necessarily care to have it on 4K. Save a few bucks just picking it up on Blu-ray. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete final third season, um, will be releasing. It'll also be getting a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I don't really love the artwork on this one, although maybe once I see the show, I'll get it a little better. I did pre-order this already, so I should have that one for you guys. 
Walking Dead Season 8 uh, is releasing. Just a show I've never gotten into. Um, not that I think it's bad or anything. I've only watched one episode. It's just like, this is one of those things I never get around to. Uh, Gotham, the complete fourth season. First Reformed. Oh, Deadpool 1 and 2. They're not trying to get more money out of you, are they? No, they would never do that. <laughs> the Masters of Sex, the complete series. Strike Back, series 6. Blind Spot, the complete third season. Blackwater, I would like to see this just because it has Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. Uh, I doubt the movie's going to be that great, but I'd just like to see it because they're in it. Uh, Action Point with Johnny Knoxville. It, it seems uh, really similar to a lot of his other projects where he basically just plays himself and does stupid, crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, Show Dogs. Okay, I'll definitely be out of that. <laughs> Bleeding Steel. Uh, let's see, who's doing the Steelbook for Walking Dead? Is it Target or Best Buy? Target Steelbook for The Walking Dead. Alright, so on this week, as I said, I'll probably get the Deadpool 2 Blu-ray. I'll be getting the Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 Steelbook. I should be getting Gotham, the complete fourth season. I may get Action Point... I'm not really positive on that one. If you guys have, if you guys have seen it, be sure to let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. So that brings us to August 28th. Tucker the man and his dream. Uh, we we do have a lot of the Chucky movies uh, coming to single Blu-rays instead of Blu-ray sets, which they've already been released in before. Uh, Seed of Chucky, Bride of Chucky, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3. But I don't think Child's Play, because we've already had that one released. Uh, the Flash, the complete fourth season. I should be reviewing that one as well. Another one where I'm just really not familiar with The Flash at all. Uh, Upgrade. I haven't seen the trailer for that one yet. Could be interesting, though. Uh, Lucifer, the complete third season and its final run on Fox. I forget, is it Netflix or something is going to continue it? But um, that's the final season for now. Uh, American Animals, Mary Shelley. Once Upon a Time, the seventh season. I've never seen this show. Book Club. I watched the trailer for this book club. It's uh, like, you know, it's kind of a chick flick. Um, the beginning looked actually really funny in the trailer, but then as the, it kind of went on, I was just like, oh man, this is getting bad, <laughs> even just in the trailer. But I thought the beginning looked like, I don't know, maybe there'll be some comedy in there. Psycho 2 coming to Blu-ray. Um, I think, again, with the Psycho movies, they've been released on Blu-ray, but only in a pack. Uh, now you can get them individually, 2, 3, and 4. I, I have to question, though, like, if you want just one of them or whatever, why wouldn't you want all of them? And Unless you're just trying to buy them on the cheap and get them, you know, one at a time. I'm not really sure. So that's it for the Blu-rays in August. This last week, I'll be getting The Flash. And maybe upgrade. I don't know. I gotta watch the trailer for that one, see what it's like. So let's look at the titles coming to DVD, because obviously there are titles released on DVD that aren't released on Blu-ray. So we have The Good Doctor, Season 1. Has anybody seen this one? Very curious. Uh, I can't think of his name. The guy from uh, Bates Motel. I'm wondering how he did on this one. Get Shorty Season 1. They made a TV show out of that movie. Get Shorty. Never heard of it. Uh, 6 Season 2. A Reckoning. Before I Do. Looks like some sort of firefighter. Global Meltdown. Paint It Red. Black Mark. I'm curious who this alien code is from. Sony Pictures. Alien code. So then August 14th, we have Into the Wild. Could be an interesting one. SEAL Team Season 1. Zoo Squad. And CIS New Orleans Season 4. From Wow Now Entertainment. This looks like a kid's movie. 
Sea Squad. Uh, and then August 21st, NCIS the 15th season. Blue Bloods the 8th season. Looks like we have a lot of TV series coming out. Hunting Emma. The Corner season 2. And finally, August 28th, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, season five. Uh, anybody watch that one? I have yet to see an episode. Really curious if it's worth watching. Bad Company. Chicago Med, season three. Scandal, season six. Chicago Fire, season six. NCIS Los Angeles, season nine. Yep, yeah, really a lot of shows coming out. So. What are you guys picking up? Love to hear down in the comment section below. Remember to check back each week for my weekly shopping guides where I compare the additions and prices of movies releasing for the week and also watch out for my unboxings of the new titles and reviews. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out suggested videos and check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.